Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and um, something that hasn't made it through the vibes of news or anything. So it, there's Computex happening and of course a lot of manufacturers are talking about their new hardware. And so we had Intel that talked about its new uh, CPUs that has AI integration uh, with NPUs. We have, of course, AMD that uh, talked about its AMD AI 300 series. And there's a lot of talk about, you know, the AI features, the uh, trillions of operations per second that some of these chips can get, and they're getting really more and more powerful. But something that went very, very low under the radar um, was AMD saying that their AI 300 will not have compatibility with Windows 10, will not get chipset drivers, and that uh, basically moving on. So it's going to be a Windows 11 only and future of Windows. Um, Intel, we haven't heard of anything yet, but you know what? If you go out and buy a new PC right now, it's pretty much all Windows 11, and there shouldn't technically be much Windows 10, except if you're buying an older technology machine. And I think that um, Intel is soon to announce also that going forward, they'll have only, you know, uh, they won't have any compatibility with Windows 10 either. So more and more this is happening. And it's often one of the drastic ways of moving ahead. Um, over the years, when I would, as a tech guy, have the question of, okay, this comes with, um, you know, Windows 8, I'd like to go to Windows 7. Well... The drastic move was, well, there's no chipset drivers for Windows 7, so I can't move you back. And it happened a lot uh, over the years. I remember Windows 7 machines unable to go to Windows XP, just no chipset drivers. It's the way that they kill off a uh, an operating system also. It's not just, you know, let's not sell it anymore and um, and move on. It's, you know, it's also let's just not make any drivers and... So AMD has been the first to kind of say this. I'm sure Intel is not far behind, and I'm sure maybe they already have an idea of what they would have cut off. But this is kind of a, a way of telling us that uh, the era of Windows 10 is slowly moving ahead to something else, and that um, we got to move on. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.